All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to prove the block test, which you will see the proof is absolutely beautiful and very weird at the same time. So what does the block test say? It says, suppose you have a decreasing sequence of positive terms. So a n a n is greater or equal to zero for all n. Then the sum from n from one to infinity of a n converges if and only if the blocked series converges. So the series from zero to infinity of two to the k a two to the k converges. Now, I would like to remind you what does convergent of a series mean? It means that the partial sums converge. So let Sn be the partial sums of the a's, so a1 up to an, and let Tk be the partial sums of 2 to the k, a2 to the k. So a1 plus 2, a2 plus dot 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 plus 2 to the k, a 2 to the k. And I would also like to remind you in what the first video I've done on series is that um, a series converges if and only if the partial sums are bounded, at least for positive terms. And that's why in calculus they mean, oh, the series is bounded and therefore it converges. So, in other words, to show both this converges is equivalent to this converges, we just need to show that this being bounded is equivalent to this being bounded. So, case one. Suppose the block series converges. So, suppose um, Suppose the sum of 2 to the k, a2 to the k converges. And that implies that this series is, this sequence is bounded. So tk is bounded. Fix n. And what we want to show ultimately is that sn is bounded, so sn is less than or equal to something. And then, so again, this is n. And then let k be such that 2 to the k is bigger than n. Then for all, all k with 2 to the k is bigger than n, we have the following. So again, that's so weird, but um, we have the form Sn, and remember the Sn's are increasing because we're always adding positive terms. In particular, you can compare Sn not with S of 2 to the k, but with something way bigger, namely 2 to the k plus 1, so kind of the next power of 2, but minus 1. If this were 8, for instance, this would be 15. Right? So way bigger, and in particular Sn, would be less than or equal to S of 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1. Why do we have this? Because we can actually write this very nicely in terms of blocks. This becomes A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 up to A7 plus dot 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 plus a to the 2 to the k plus dot 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 up to the last term a to the 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1. So this is the huge sum but notice we can just um, group them in blocks so a2 plus a3 a4 up to a7 a to the 2 to the k up to this last term I can't pronounce. Uh, and now remember, our a n words are decreasing. Okay. What does that mean? It means a2, again, maybe a n looks like that. Right? It means a2 is bigger than a3. So this is definitely less than or equal to a2 plus a2. And now a4 is way bigger than the terms that follow. So this is bigger than a4 plus a4 plus a4 
plus a4 up to a2 to the k plus a2 to the k plus dot 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 plus a2 to the k. So the head of each sum is always bigger than the tail. Now, how many terms are there? Well, let's see. That is a1 plus 2a2 plus 4a4 plus dot dot dot. And then how many terms here? Well, 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1 minus 2 to the k plus 1. And that becomes 2 to the k plus 1 minus 2 to the k. So 2 to the k times 2 minus 1. So 2 to the k. So indeed, 2 to the k, a, 2 to the k. But what is that? Well, we have Sn, which again is now less to equal to that. But it's precisely tk. That's how we define tk to be. So what we get is Sn is less than or equal to tk, but remember tk was bounded by assumption. So this is less than m. So what do we get? Remember we fixed n, so now for all n, we obtain that sn is less than, equal, is less than m. So sn is less than m for all n. But what does that show? It shows that sn is bounded. And therefore, by this remark I said at the beginning, we get that the series of Sn, which is just the sum from 1 to infinity of An, converges. Which is what we wanted to show. Now, for the other step, it's even weirder. So case 2, suppose the sum of An converges which implies is equivalent to Sn is bounded. Right. Then we'll do the same thing, but in reverse, namely fix k. Okay. Then, if n is very large, so if n is bigger than 2 to the k, we have the following. So again, this is 2 to the k, this is n. Before we considered something bigger than n, but now we want to consider something else. And you'll see what I mean by that. Then, if n is bigger than 2 to the k, well, sn, again, sn is increasing, well, it's greater or equal to s, 2 to the k. And we write this as a1 plus dot, 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 plus a2 to the k. And we want to group this in ter terms as well. But this time it's slightly different. It's not a1 plus a2 plus a3, but let's say a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus dot, 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 plus at the end we have a2 to the 2 to the k. But the block that comes before that is 2 to the k minus 1, so the power before that plus 1. So a 2 to the k minus 1 plus 1 plus all these things. Now, before we grouped it as follows, a 2 plus a 3, a 4 up to a 7, but now we want to do something slightly different. We want to do a 3 plus a 4. And then this block here. Why? Because, and again, that's the freaky thing. So a1, it's greater or equal to a1 over 2. Okay? And then a2 is just a2. But now remember, our sequence is decreasing. So in particular, a3 is bigger than a4. So this thing, it's bigger than or equal to a4 plus a4. And then for the next block, we have, let's say, a8 plus a8 plus a8 plus a8. Okay. a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6, a7, a8. And similarly, for this block, everything is bigger than a to the 2 to the k. 
So plus a to the 2 to the k plus dot 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 plus a to the 2 to the k. Okay, and then what do we have? And again, this seems weird. I promise you it will make sense in a second. So this becomes um, that equals to a1 over 2 plus a2 plus 2a4 plus, if you want, 4a8. And how many terms are there now? Well, 2 to the k minus 2 to the k minus 1 minus 1 plus 1. This cancels out and we get 2 to the k minus the previous power, and you can show that this is just a 2 to the k minus 1. And then plus dot dot dot, plus 2 to the k minus 1, a to the 2 to the k. And it looks almost, I mean, it is kind of shifted block sum, except all you have to do is factor out 1 half, and you get 1 half times a1 plus 2a2 plus 4a4, plus 8a8, plus dot dot dot, plus 2 to the k, a2 to the k. So in fact, it's tk, but with a 1 half, so it's 1 half tk. Therefore, what we've shown, we've shown that sm is greater or equal to 1 half tk. Well, you're like, wait, this goes the wrong way. But no, it actually goes the right way. So Sn is greater or equal to 1 half Tk. And therefore, Tk is less or equal to 2Sn. But here's the thing. We know that uh, as, uh, the series of An converges. So Sn is bounded. And therefore, Sn is less than M. For all m, for all m, and therefore this thing is less than 2m. So what have we shown? Since k was arbitrary, tk is bounded. Since k was arbitrary, tk is bounded. And what does it mean for tk to be bounded? It means that the block series 2 to the k, a 2 to the k converges. So also in this case, uh, the, uh, let's call it the block series converges. Therefore, uh, the original series converges if and only if the block series converges. All right, thank you very much.